on today's episode of Moto Cheese. What's up, boys? What do we have here today? Another portable power station. 1000 watt, the AP1000, the Alpha ESS. I love these things. If you follow my videos, you could see how often my power goes out. These help a ton. I don't have to start my generator until I need water. I haven't got my hands on a 220 volt yet that'll run the house. Hopefully, eventually. Let's see what's in the box. A 110 volt power supply. Looks like 179 watts or 9.47 amps at 19 volts. USB-C 12 volt adapter for charging and a power cord for the power supply. 24 month warranty. When you register online you get an extra 12 months. And a user's manual. So it has a 28,000 Eight extra zero there. It's like a 28,800 milliamp hour, 1,036.8 watt hour, lithium ion battery with over a thousand cycles at 80%. 1,000 watt continuous 2,000 watt peak surge. Has a built in MPPT for charging solar. The adapter is not included in this one. Looks like it has two wireless chargers. It's got a little bit of weight to it, not as much as a 2000. Nice rubber inlaid grip. Pure sine wave. 52% battery right now. That's not a button, that's just to show the input. It has a USB C 100 watt, it has a 5 volt, 3 amp USB C out. And it looks like two 5 volt, 2.4 amp, 310 volt outlets and a cigarette lighter plug with two DC outs and they are at 10 amp. Cooling ports, a light, low, medium, high, and off. Now let's get this charged up and do some tests. What do you think Gizmo? So it looks like we topped out at about 180 watts. Okay, it's a little strange. It's been charging about an hour and it's down to 23% when it was at what, 50% roughly? Maybe it's doing a cycle to synchronize the battery. We'll leave it go. All right, we're back up to 34%. So it must have been the BMS, which is the battery management system. So while it's charging, you can use the 110 volt outlets and the DC outlets and the USB. Of course you don't want to exceed what this power adapter will do or it'll essentially drain the battery as you're using it. You can, but just know that if you're drawing more than 180 watts, this unit will be drawing down. This has wireless charging, two of them on the top to turn that on. You double click the info button, fast charging, fast charging. That's pretty nice, I have two of those. Let's see what kind of sine wave this puts out. Nice clean sine wave. 100 and 12 volts touching 60 Hertz 13.26 volts output watch up kitty cat well we're at 100 percent let's get testing so I picked up this electric heater with three heat settings this has a 1000 watt sine wave inverter the battery is a 1036 watt hour so if I draw a thousand watts, 
it should technically last an hour, but it'll probably do a little less than an hour. Low. Low is 508 watts. It is now 1259. So we'll say 1 o'clock. Try medium now. Uh, looks like 740 watts. For the heck of it, let's see if it'll run it on high. Well, we're going over. 1,049, 1,050. It's holding at 1,050. That's supposed to be a 1,500 watt heater. So it should make it to almost 2 o'clock. Let's see what the voltage is. 102 volts. A little low. We switch it to medium. It goes up to 110 volts. High. Should be a minimum of 108, 110. 102 volts is getting a little low. Should run it at its max because it is over what it's supposed to be by 50 watts. Or should I cut it down? Of course, this is a resistive draw. It's different than an inductive draw. Some of these units have a mode that you can kick on if you're going to use an electric heater. Well, I hear it. It does have a fan on. Okay, so the fan is on. It's just not very high. I almost don't think it's fair running it at over what the wattage is supposed to be, but we'll run it down anyway. Alright, we're at 60%. It's been running 23 minutes. 102 volts. It did warm up a little bit. Just hit 50%. It's 128. So it's been 28 minutes. Yeah, it's holding pretty good. Let me get my thermal meter. So it looks like 122 Fahrenheit where the fan was blowing out. The unit itself is definitely warm to the touch. Of course that wire, since it's drawn almost 10 amps to that heater. See how that's heating up. Don't forget that's full load. A little more than full load on this unit. Just a little over a thousand watts. We're at 40%. 133. 30%, 138, so it's been 38 minutes. The whole unit warms up pretty good, that's for sure, compared to the others I've tested. But that is full load. 14% battery, it's been 46 minutes. Not gonna make an hour, boys. And she's warm. The fan is going, but I think it needs a little bit bigger of a fan. See how long she lasts. Maybe five more minutes. 11%. 147. So just shut off. Made it 51 minutes for that size battery with a resistive load. That's not too bad. So let's get this thing charged back up again. So I didn't get to pull it down to zero to do a full charge from zero. So before we plug it into the AC, Let's do a few minutes of solar charging. We'll see how the MPPT circuitry works on this. Oh, it takes a different plug. Oh, I don't have that plug, it's a different plug. Sorry boys, I do not have the proper plug. Really wish that they would give you the solar charging plug. We'll go on with our AC charging test. It has a battery over heat light going. fan is on. We'll let it cool down and come back to it in a little bit. Alright, it's 3.20 now. Come down to see if I can do some more tests. And it looks like the battery still has its temperature icon there. I did put it on my turntable. It's a little warm. Everything else is fairly cool, so we'll give it some more time. Even though it's showing, it's still allowing stuff to come on. So let's see if this will 
charge two phones at once. Should be like 36 watts. So it looks like it's dividing 18 watts, 19 watts, into the two phones. If I take one away. It says fast wireless charging. So let's see how many watts this 12 volt charger will charge. Looks like since that battery's still flashing temperature, it's not going to do it. It's nice of them to keep the outputs on now. So we'll let it cool down a little more. Double click to turn on and off. Wireless charging. We'll start with this 5 volt 2.4 amp standard charge. That's also a standard charging port. Test out the USB C ports. Fast charge on the lower 5 volt. And now we'll test the 100 watt. Also fast charge. And I'm testing this while the 110 volt is working. So it's 15 watts on the USB-C. See how many watts we get out of this 12 volt plug. Now it looks like it balanced out at about 16 watts. down to 2% now. It's the next morning. I left it overnight. It's 724. Plug in the AC adapter. Should be approximately 190 watts charge. About 177 watts. It's now 9 o'clock. We're at 28%. It's 235 and it's at 100%. Not too bad for 185 watts. So I have a 100 watt charger. Let's see how many watts this will charge. Fifty two watts off of the USB C. So what do I think of this unit? It's built pretty good. I like that it has the light built into it. The fan I think they could have used something a little faster or a variable fan to take the heat away from the unit itself because it did get hot although it did do the whole test without the battery overheat light come on. Afterwards the battery overheat light did come on. I like having two of these wireless chargers on the top. That's a pretty good idea. The single handle is nice. One other thing that I wish that these companies would do is put the solar charging wire with the unit. Since there's several types of wires that it takes to charge with the solar. You know, and I don't know what it would cost. A couple extra dollars, throw it in there. Then you don't have to guess what plug that is because I have two different types of plugs and neither one works so not bad for a thousand watt unit there's a lot of these out there now and everybody's pretty much going off at a price margin two-year warranty if you're looking for something this size I have the link in the description and whatever discounts that they'll provide me with in the description below thanks for watching the cheesiest reviews on the internet that's right Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.